Let me tell you how God used my sleepover with a six-year-old to show me how we struggle with receiving God's fatherhood in our lives. Some of the main hangups that I think people have in terms of receiving God as father is receiving his protection and wondering where his protection is in their life and receiving and wondering where his provision is in their life. So let me tell you how this played out with my niece. First, in terms of protection. Last night, we were getting ready to go to bed and I gave her a nice pillow with a silk pink pillowcase uh, to sleep on, but she wanted to sleep on the decorative pillows that are a lot thicker. And I was telling her, no, you should sleep on the pillows that are flatter so that you can actually lay down straight when you're sleeping. The decorative pillows are nice. You can hold them while you're sleeping, but if you sleep on it, it's not going to have you in the right position. But she didn't listen to me. She wanted to sleep on the decorative pillows and I decided not to fight her on it. So we went to sleep and this morning she woke up telling me that her neck was hurting and I am sure and I told her it's probably because you slept on the pillow that I told you not to sleep on. And so sometimes in our lives, we are looking at the things we're experiencing and wondering why didn't God protect me? But his protection came in the form of his wisdom, in the form of him showing us the way to live and what to do. And so when we misuse the things that are in our lives, whether that be people, whether that be sex, whether that be substances, whether it be our time, then we suffer the consequences and we're like, God, where was your protection? And the whole time he was with us, I slept with my niece, but I let her, I honored her decision on what she wanted to sleep on. And so God is giving us free will and free choices. And sometimes when we misuse those choices and we don't listen to God, we stay in his presence, but we walk out of his protection. Now let's talk about provision. This morning when I was getting my niece food and everything in the morning, I gave her water to drink and she barely wanted to drink any of it. And so I tried to explain to her like, water is really good for you. It helps your body do what it's supposed to do. Your body is made up of a lot of water, so you need to drink water. Told her all of that, she still just drank one sip and put it down. Again, I respected her choice. Now I'm not saying she's gonna deal with some terrible fallout from that. Not drinking enough water is something you experience the, um, the consequences of over time. But say she was to get dehydrated and then she'd be wondering, why am I dehydrated? What's going on? Well. Something was provided to her, but she decided not to take it, not to use it. And so she's not receiving the full benefit that was offered to her. Same thing with God. He gives us his word. He gives us um, his spirit. He gives us instructions on how to seek and find him. And we do that to the minimum at times. We spend minimal time with God. We spend minimal time seeking God. We spend minimal time, you know, trying to make sure our lives align with the wisdom that God gave us. And then we look around and wonder why we don't have the things provided for us that God has promised, but we're not living in the wisdom that God has given us. So when it comes to receiving God as father, not everything is a result of us not re not listening to him. You know, I'm not saying everything bad that happens, every bad consequences because we didn't listen, but so much of what we are to experience in terms of God's provision and protection in our life comes with heeding God's instruction and following his wisdom.